Oh, these loudspeakers. They're uh, from a company called Audiosphere Research. And these are two ways. That's a 15 inch driver. You can see there's three ports down below. And uh, it's kind of got a baffle system. And um, interesting configuration. I've never seen another pair like this. And uh, they're rated for something like 10 to 250 watts. I have them hooked up to an amp that I believe it's 200 watts per channel. But uh, the interesting thing about these is uh, they were a gift. And uh, I think they're kind of rare. I was trying to find some information on the internet about them. And I couldn't find anything. They're uh, called Mega 1500s. And uh, well, as far as how they sound, um, they sound like you think they would sound. Lots of bass. Oh, uh, that, that massive horn is a little bright. These speakers are, I would say these are probably perfect for, you know, a large venue, um, like a, possibly a DJ service, something to that effect. Uh, they're, man, they gotta be just about three feet tall. They're quite heavy. I had a pair years ago. I bought them new. My sister knew the salesman and I bought a pair of Monitor 18s. And they had an 18-inch woofer and I really like those speakers. And uh, kind of sorry I sold them. They needed some parts and uh, the parts were no longer available so um, the company, Audios for Research, they're long gone. But uh, I actually have a second set of speakers by the same manufacturer. Well, believe it or not, I actually have three pairs of speakers from these guys. These ones are called... Well, it doesn't tell you they're what they're called. It probably says on the back, but they're a three-way. And uh, that's a 12-inch driver. And these are actually very good speakers. Uh, you know, like, uh, they're a large... loudspeaker and uh, I think they're rated for up to like 150 watts and they actually sound pretty good um, they're you know kind of an inexpensive speaker from back in the day but these ones have a poly driver which well that's a good thing um, especially when you have kids and look at the size of the port there um, Anyways, I've got these hooked up simu at the same time to the same system, and uh, I can I can upset my neighbors fairly quickly. But I just thought I'd show these because uh, uh, I I I, th I know these ones are rare. Like I've just never seen them before, and, and there's absolutely nothing about them on the internet. So I thought I would. Uh, post them on there and uh, see if there's anyone else who has some out there or who can who knows anything about them. Um, I think Audios for Research, you know, closed up their closed up shop like, I don't know, twenty five years ago, I'm guessing. Um, I have a pair of car speakers that are also Audiosphere Research and they're still in the box. And um I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to use them. Um, I had a plan at the time, but they were such a good deal, I just couldn't say no. But 
Anyways, uh, yeah, if you know anything about these, uh, or, you know, if you have a pair, if you've ever seen another pair, uh, let me know. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I can find out more. Um, I haven't had any trouble with them whatsoever. They just work. They're two-way. and They just, I don't know, they're... They've got to be 30 years old, I'm guessing. And, uh, you know, they take up some real estate in the living room, but... Um, but I like a big speaker, you know. I'm kind of old-school, boomer um, age, I guess you could say. And, uh, yeah, sometimes I want to hear it loud and clear. And, uh... So that's it. Uh, it's just uh, information sharing, gathering. That's it. Uh, let me know. And uh, these ones, I would probably have to take them down to find out the model number. But um, maybe you have some. Maybe you recognize them. If you know what these are, post it on there in the comments, I guess. Anyway, that's it.